At Occasional Consulting, we believe that every couple deserves a warm and loving experience on their wedding day. Being part of a same-sex couple and part of a same-sex couple that really has a different gender expression, the thought of walking into a wedding planner just feels nerve-wracking. We were purposefully left out of that arena in civil society for a really long time. I started a company called The Wedding Connection, which is simply a group of wedding professionals who come together to network and refer each other to our clients. The wedding industry has, a, has difficulty reaching the LGBT community just because they're uneducated. I think that there are a lot of business owners who might want to have me and my partner as customers, but who may not know how to engage with us. If they had better language to be able to, to talk to me, they would open the door for me to think about wedding planning in a way that I've never thought about it before. We've done the market research, we've talked to wedding professionals, we know the industry is ready to embrace the LGBT community, they just need a little help getting started. Our trainings and consultations cover three basic areas. First is outreach, so how to find LGBT customers. Second would be messaging, how to create advertising and marketing content that really resonates with the LGBT community in a positive way. And the third is just basic cultural competency. So once you have an LGBT customer, how do you ensure they have a positive experience in your workplace? We do promote occasional consulting to all of our clients because I feel like we just want to make sure that every client we service feels comfortable. If I knew that a business had gone through some of this type of consulting and training, I would absolutely be 100% more likely to visit them. I would just know that I wouldn't have to do the education myself uh, and potentially be in awkward situations with them. The wedding industry needs occasional consulting. It's a great way to expand your customer base, educate yourself on the LGBT community, and hone your skills. By investing in occasional consulting, you're investing in Colorado Health Network. The Colorado Health Network will be less reliant on government funding so that we can work toward being able to provide services well into the future for those living with HIV. The $5,000 we're asking for in startup funds will primarily be used for legal consultation, but it will also be used for other costs such as marketing campaigns. The more money we raise through this campaign, the bigger our marketing launch will be. We need your help in making occasional consulting a household name in the Colorado wedding industry.